Okay, I hope this is recording. I'm having to set this up using uh, a series of mirrors, and I'm not um, very adept at video recording, so hopefully you're going to get all the information you need to see from this. And uh, this is Neil Moncrief. Uh, this is the third and hopefully last video in this series where I am removing a um, in-light sensor device that has malfunctioned and uh, will not remove the normal way from my skin. Uh, hopefully this will be the last video that I have to take because uh, this is not comfortable and I just want to get it out. I am afraid though that it's going to hurt because I've got a needle uh, that's the better part of an inch long. Uh, right now it's uh, stuck down into my skin and I'm going to have to just rip it out. Um, all right. Um, again, I am twisting and it's not releasing. I could get some pliers and twist this, but I'm actually afraid if I did that, that the plastic would break and I don't want something to, uh, um, to happen, you know, that would actually hurt me worse, uh, than this is hurting right now. So I just wanted to show you that I am doing everything I can to remove this the proper way, which when it works correctly, all I have to do is just grab it and pull. It just magically releases. But there's a night and day difference between that and what I'm having right now. There is no way that this will pull out. It's not that it's snug. It's that it, it feels as if it's, I, I don't know. I've got uh, manufacturing experience. It feels like Maybe there's a piece of plastic that was supposed to be separated in the molding process that did not separate. And uh, maybe QC just didn't catch it. Um, it's hard for me to know for sure because this will be the first time I've actually removed it from my body uh, with it still, you know, with the whole unit still connected. The other times I've been able to twist it, bend it, and eventually it would break loose. And once it breaks loose, there's no way to tell what was causing the problem. Uh, this time, though, I'm going to remove it just by taking the adhesive here and just ripping it out. And hopefully it won't hurt too badly. But uh, the positive side of that is I will be able to send it back to Minimed and they can see, you know, uh, what, what caused the problem. And if it was something that I did wrong, you know, I don't know how I could possibly have done it wrong. Uh, I don't know how I could have done it so wrong this time and done it so right every not every other time, but the times that it's worked. Basically, it's, it's you know, a well-trained monkey could, should be able to do this. Um, what I'm a little bit concerned about is the adhesive right here under the base. is stuck to my skin, and I'm worried that when I try to rip this out, it's not going to come out clean, and it's actually going to suck, you know, so I'm, I'm worried that the elasticity in my abdomen is going to pull the needle back in, and I really don't want a second hole. So, I'm going to stop talking now, and, uh, and I'm just going to yank this out, and hopefully there won't be anything to it. It's not letting go easily. I can feel it peeling loose. Well, that's some good tape y'all got at Mini Mad. This is hurting like a son of a. Mmm. Ah. Okay. Well, you can see the evidence of the bleeding. That was probably more self-inflicted than anything. Uh, blood running out. Um, I don't know if there's anything here that, that you can see that will shed any light you know, on the problem, but I'm certainly going to be boxing this up and sending it back to you guys, and hopefully somebody at Minimed will be in touch with me and, uh, you know, can tell me what the problem was that led to this, because 
this is terribly uncomfortable and like I said I only had 10 of them to start with and I've had this problem now on roughly half so uh, Neil Moncrief boy I got a gusher going here this is Neil Moncrief in Leesburg Georgia um, I've got to turn this video off now and take care of my abdomen bye bye